Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with J. Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's continue our lesson on service department cost allocation. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to allocate overhead costs using the reciprocal method. Now, in previous lesson, we have looked at the direct allocation, the step-down method, the repeated distribution, also known as the repetitive distribution method. If you have missed those lessons, the links are in the description below. Now, let us zero in on the reciprocal method. The reciprocal method allows service departments to be open to receive costs from other service departments. It requires two things. One, use of simultaneous equations to rework new overhead costs for service departments. And two, to allocate those costs using the new overhead costs to all departments. Let us look at the question. JB Company has two service departments and two production departments. The following information is provided in the table below. No, this question is the one that I've been using throughout the previous sessions with other methods. Let us get straight into working the question. Now, as indicated earlier, this method requires two things. The first thing that you'll have to do is to create simultaneous equations so that you can rework the overhead. And the second thing is that you will allocate those overheads. So the first thing that we're going to do is to create simultaneous equations for the two service departments. If there were three service departments, you'd have to create three simultaneous equations, et cetera. Now, in creating the equation, we'll have to create variables for the two service departments. We have human resource, we have maintenance. Now, I'll be using H to represent human resource and M to represent maintenance. Having done that, the next thing that you're gonna do is to create the equations. So the first equation is, let me call this equation one. The first equation is uh, H is equal to, and you're gonna pick up the overhead cost for H, which is human resource. It is equal to $50,000 plus the allocation that it will be getting from the other service department. And we're seeing that H is getting 10% from maintenance. So that is 50,000 plus 10% of M. And for equation two, equation two is M is equal to, you pick up the overhead cost from the question, maintenance is $120,000 plus the portion of what it is getting from the service department and maintenance is getting 20% of human resource. That is plus 20% percent of age. Remember, age represents human resource. Now that we have our equations, we can then solve for the items. What I'm going to do, I'm going to input equation one into two. So this is input, or I could say substitute equation or substitute equation one into two. So here we go. Equation two is M, which is the maintenance is equal to $120,000 plus 20% of H where, let me annotate right here for you. 
where h, remember this is h, h is equal to 50,000 plus 10% of m. All right, so to complete this, it is 20% of uh, h, so that would be 20% multiply by 50,000. We're inputting the equation for h right there, 50,000 plus 10% of m, all right? Now we can do some mathematical work right here. M is equal to 120,000 plus 20%. I'm gonna use the decimal for 20%, which is 0 0.2 multiplied by 50,000 plus 10%. So I'm gonna use a decimal right here as well. That would be plus 0.1 M. And now we can continue solving. M, I don't want to miss any step. M is equal to 120,000 plus 0.2 multiplied by 50,000 is 10,000 plus 0.2 multiplied by 0.1 M would give us 0.02 M. And we can continue. M, we're gonna put like items together, minus, we're gonna take over this positive 0.02 M. Once it cross over the equal sign, then it's gonna change to negative. So it is M minus, 0.02 M is equal to the 120,000 plus the 10,000, right? And we can continue our workings. So this is M minus 0 0.02 give us 0 0.98 m is equal to so that is like 1 m minus 0 0.02 so that leave us with 0 0.98 m is equal to 130,000 that is basically the 120 plus the 10,000 now we're going to solve for m is equal to 130,000 divide by the 0 0.98 and that now give us a result where M is equal to 132,653. So that is what M is, that is a new overhead cost for the maintenance, all right? Now, once we have solved for one of the equation, once we solve one of the equation, then we can substitute and solve the other. So let us move into We're going to move into solving equation one. So solve equation one, and equation one would be H is equal to 50,000 plus 10% of, uh, let me put that in bracket, 10% of M where M is 132,653 based on our calculation where we had solve equation two. So H is equal to 50,000 plus 10% of 132,653 give us 13,000 
$265. And it means that H is therefore $63,265. So now these are the new overhead costs for the two service departments. Now that we have completed that first stage where we need to create the equation and solve the equations, we're now going to use those new value. New value, let me highlight those values for you. Maintenance is 132,653, while human resource is 63,265. So those are the values that we're going to be allocating. So let's go with our allocation. The first one that I'll be allocating is the human resource allocate. Human resource. The new value for human resource, again, is 63,265. Now, based on the question, human resource is providing 20% of service to maintenance. So 20% of the 63,265. And that give us 12,653. For the assembly, it's getting 50% of the human resource cost. So 50% of that 63,265 give us 31,632 and 50 cents. While for finishing, that is 30% of the 63,265. Remember, that is coming from the question. And that value is 18,979.50. Now we need to recalculate the cost. So recalculated cost. All right. Now, we are seeing that the human resource has a positive 50,000, but then 63,265 was allocated to the other departments. That is a negative. So what we have remaining there is a negative value of 13,265 in the human resource. The maintenance original figure was 120. Now you're adding 12,653 to that. That give us a value now of 132,653. Now let me pause right here. This 132,653 is the very same figure that you got when you did the first step in solving the equation for maintenance and the new cost is 132,653. So you can use this to double check if you're actually correct when you do your recalculated cost. I've, I've been done that first step. Now the recalculated value for assembly, if original figure was 300,000, you're gonna add 31,632.50 to that. So now this give us $331. 632.50. And the finishing original figure was 250,000, adding 18,979.50 to that. That give us a value of 268,979.50. Now, we have one department left to allocate, and that is the maintenance. So we're going to allocate main tenants. And uh, we have to show that we're allocating all of this 132,653 by putting that in brackets. And uh, for the maintenance, we're seeing that it is giving 10% to human resource, that's 10% of 132,653, and that give us 13,265. For the assembly, it is 60% of the 132,653, and that give us a value of 79,592. And for the finishing, 
the maintenance is providing 30% to that. So it's 30% of 132,653. And that gave us a value of 39,795.9. I'm going to round that off to six. So 39,796. Okay. And our final step is to do our recalculated cost. And guess what? Once you are doing this, you'll find that once you have done the allocation accurately, then there would be no value in the respective service departments. So human resource, negative 13,265 plus 13,265 give us zero. For maintenance, 132.653 minus 132.653, that is $0. For the assembly, we're going to add the original costs that we had recalculated, 330 to 1,632.50 to 79,592. And that gives us a value of 411,220 four dollars and fifty cents and for the finishing 268 979 50 which was the previous recalculated cost add 39,796 to that we get a value of 308,775 dollars and fifty cents now that takes us to the end of Allocating service costs using the reciprocal method, also known as the simultaneous method. If you add these two values, the overhead cost, recalculated overhead costs in your production department, you should get the original cost that you had started out with, which is $720,000. So again, people remember, with this method, you have to create simultaneous equations for the service departments, solve those simultaneous equations to find the new overhead costs. So you're reworking to find a new overhead cost. The new overhead costs are the values that you allocate when you're doing your calculation, your allocation, okay? And that takes us to the end of our lesson on allocating service department costs. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.